couple of the more advanced home automation scripts that I've set up, some of the things that are, I think, more interesting if you actually see them in action so you can kind of see what the point of this is. So this is a Harmony One remote. A lot of people are familiar with this. You can program it in, on the computer to do a bunch of macros and stuff. But I have it hooked up with the lights and such. So anyone that has one of these is familiar with the ability to, for example, I can go play Xbox 360 and all my equipment is turned off. But it turns on the TV, sets the right input, turns on the receiver, sets the right input, and turns on the uh, Xbox 360, which I actually cheated and it was already on. Uh, so what I've added here, though, is that on the uh, face buttons here, you probably can't see it, or on the touch screen, rather, I have a button called Movie Lights. So if I want to uh, set the lights to be movie mode, I can push the button. And when I do, all the lights in the room here, as you can see, slowly dim down to the appropriate movie level. So I don't even know if you can still see me, but these front ones are like at 30%, and the ones in the rear are like at 15%. Uh, and to show a little bit more uh, what this, while it's in this mode, it's actually a little bit smart. I'm gonna have to play the DVD first, but okay. So I got my movie playing, and uh, when I push the pause button on the remote, it pauses the movie, and then the lights come up automatically, and that's just part of pushing the button. When I press play again, it plays, and the lights come back down. So that's an example of kind of the more advanced programming you can do with this. I've got to pause it, and I've got my restore lights button here, which will bring everything back up to full, and also disable movie mode and such. So that is one bit, and then the other thing I'm going to show off is Siri Proxy. This is a much nerdier thing to set up. Uh, also far less useful, but when your friends come over, it's a, a much more interesting thing to show off. So, i got Siri here, so I'm going to say, uh, let's watch a movie. Good idea. Will this be Netflix or a disc? How about a uh, Blu-ray? And as you can see, oh, my PS3 turned off. I had it turned on to prep. It actually set, it changed the input on the receiver there. I need to buy the, uh, the PlayStation 3 IR receiver. It doesn't actually have IR out of the box. So it can't fully do it, but I was going to cheat and have the PS3 on. Anyway, the point is it changed the input. It set the lights. It did everything that was all through Siri. Uh, and so those are the two most interesting parts, I think. And uh, I can, there's a little simpler thing. Turn on the living room lights.